Son, by the time you read this, the Darkspawn Poison will have claimed me. We gave all at Starkhaven, and we bought time for the Wardens to slay the Archdemon. But when I smelled the corruption in my wound, I knew I would not live to see you again. Phyrus will want men to search the battlefield. He sees Starkhaven as rising to greatness, and the weapons of a hundred dead Grey Wardens lying unclaimed on the ground will help him conquer the free marches. You must refuse. The battlefield is soaked in poison, and no speech, no bullying, no taunts about cowardice can change that. Anything that roams that battlefield now will die. Stall him out however you must, and watch for the crows. Those birds will have the good sense to fear the blight. When you see them gather, then you will know that the poison is gone, and it is safe to search the battlefield for trinkets to satisfy Phyrus. I will not be here to guide you, son, so you must learn from the crows. They watch patiently, and they let their fear keep them alive. Please, I beg you. <coughs> watch the crows and do the same. Sora. I was trying not to sneeze all the way through that, and then I might end up sneezing anyway at the end. I'm a little bit sad. That looks glowy and scary. Ah, uh, we have a visitor. Some foolish little boy comes to steal the fear I kindly lifted from his shoulder. You should have thanked me and left your fear where it lay, forgotten. You think the pain will make you stronger. What fool filled your mind with such drivel? The only one who grows stronger from your fears is me. But you are a guest here, I hope. So by all means, let me return what you have forgotten. Okay. So Nightmare knows we're here. I assume that's who that was. Claws of Dumat. <clears throat> Master unveiled a new altar. It stands higher than a man like a great statue. Great spikes jut out from its length, hungry for blood. Master calls it the Claw of Dumat. <clears throat> and says that the altar will help bring Tevinter to glory. I praised it, as was expected, and the Master smiled. It was good to see him smile again. He has been fearful of late, vexed by the loss of followers. He has met with the other priests, and in secret I have heard them discussing ways to return the people of Tevinter to the ways of the old gods as is only just. He spoke to me later in the day and asked that I call him Corypheus, as it was the name he would take for himself after a ritual. Master, now Corypheus, told me that my people, the elves of old, were tied to the Fade, and that in order to carry out the will of Jumat, he would need to call upon the magic that lives in our blood. Okay, so, all right. Sorry, mate. Uh, Corypheus told me to gather all of the elven servants and bring them to the western hall of our home at midnight. That is the hall where the claw of Jumat is now kept. There are shackles across the top of the great altar and pools lined with runes beneath the claws. I have sent my wife and children away, but I have not warned the others. A few I may save. If I tried to save us all, we would only uh, be killed in some other way, and others would die in our place. The master once laughed and joked. He could be stern, but he was not a cruel man. The weakening of the temples brought fear into his heart, and that fear has changed him. The cuts upon his arms are deeper and longer where he used his blood magic more often. He speaks for his wife little. He listens only to the voices in his dreams. It is almost midnight. The claw of Jumat, great and spiked and merciless, is all my mind can see. I must gather the others. My family is safe. Corypheus will take me, but not those that I love. Up here. Ah! Oh. oh, I thought it was this stuff. Get out the way! There's too many people. Now oh, there's fears of the dreamers. <gasps> riddle! Riddle! It's all riddle. It's all riddle. It's up there. Or is it through here? The Freeholder. I watched the blight to take my land. I had nowhere to go. I tended the fields as I had, even as my flock died and my family sickened. My body racked by pains and chills. I saw too late the poison that had crept into the land. In my fever dreams, the sickness covers this whole world. And I wept in fear for the family I killed with my foolish pride. Show, show me that this world survives. Show me that the poison does not take everything. Constitution bonus. Ooh. Up 
Let's... Oops. I'm going to strength. Oh, they're little chests of all kinds of different things. Oh, maybe I should go back then. Grab the other things. Drillero! Iron. Hmm. I should probably go back and get the other stuff. Uh, no, I need to push on. I thought it was just another mineral. But. Which I'm not using much with crafting, but if it's random items, it might be useful. A mirror. I don't think it's a mirror, I think it is an Olivian. A hey, hawk. Ah, oh, just bonus dexterity. Oh, that's disappointing. What are those things? Spiders. Corruption. War. Oh, they're fear things. Ah, I see. Oh, there's a... Right, there's a quest back there. So we're heading back anyway. Doop, doop, doop. Let's deal with this nightmare chappy as best we can. There we go, all the way back. <sighs> Go down again. Of course we do. Candle. So I assume that goes here. The Pilgrim. I came to the Temple of Sacred Ashes with the Faithful, ready to help at the Conclave. I prayed to the Maker for peace, but the mountains shook and fell and buried me. Alone in the darkness, my legs crushed, I cried in fear of a world with no Maker. Fading in and out of dreams of monsters inside the black. Like my final hours, let me go to the Maker without the terrors of darkness confounding me. Place the candle. Magic plus one. Shadowed Viridian Crystal. Oh, I think it is just loads of different minerals, isn't it? Okay. So it's not just... No, no, because you got an amulet from one of them. Where am I even? I'm, I'm lost. It's up there, isn't it? Yeah, see, rings and stuff. Guys? Guys, guys, where are you going? Guys, stop! Alright, I think I'm actually in the lead. Oh no, oh yeah, oh yes, that's a shard. Shade. Oh great, shade, sorry, I take that. Stat boosts. It's classic for the fade, isn't it? Random stat boosts. Enhanced immolate ring. Oh, 
book. Walking the fade, frozen moments. I will leave that. Let's push onwards. Let's push back to where we came from. Or where we were going to. That's a better way of thinking it. It's probably quite good, I'm worried, thinking about it. It means that, because I'm running ahead, I'm probably going to get most attention from enemies. Which is sensible, considering I'm a tank, and that's what I want. It's my job. Right, so now... Do we go straight ahead, or do we go down? Have a look straight ahead. What's that? What's that? What's what? The person on fire? They think they own us. They think they decide whether we live or die. They sit there smug in their armor, ready to cut off our heads for the slightest transgression. As though we don't strive every day to stay sane, to keep the demons away. They can't control us any longer. I won't go back to the circle, not ever. I thought about it last night, being back in the tower. Their eyes on me, and all of it came back. All the years, head down. Don't clench your fingers, be a good mage, be a quiet mage. And I realise I don't want to make peace with the Templars. I want them to burn. I want it so badly that the bed caught fire, and I wouldn't go out until Ivan iced it all over. It's still there inside me. I want them to feel the fear they made me feel. I want them to know what it's like. Well, we're leaving for the Conclave in a few hours. If those Templars so much as blink the wrong way, I'll let them see what an apostate looks like. Hello! Okay, let's just start again. Perhaps I should be afraid, facing the most powerful members of the Inquisition. <laughs> Once again, Hawk is in danger because of you, Varric. You found the Red Lyrium. You brought Hawk here. Just keep talking, Smiley. Ah, oh, I guess you're targeting each one of us individually. I like that. Kind of cool. Oh, I'm disappointed. A little comment, like, especially with the fact that Roman. Oh my goodness, that guy's huge. Like, a little comment from, uh, from him about, uh, Meryl. I, I mean. Or again, about so I wonder if they're going to comment about Hawk outside of referencing to Varric. Your Inquisitor is a fraud, Cassandra. Yet more evidence there is no maker, and all your faith has been for naught. Die in the void. That, that is, uh, that's a retort. Uh, <laughs> but I mean, the Divine's response is a good one. Is if you believe that he, if, if you believe in the Maker, and you believe he controls everything, then he controlled the accident, so he caused it. If you don't believe in the Maker, then this doesn't prove he exists. Oh. 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 
Velad, Mabanal in Asalim, Marsolas in Amartin. Bunal, Nadas. Would have been nice to have known what he said, but I'm sure that's a quite, that's a. I wonder if, they, if people have translated it. Hmm. That's something that'll be interesting to look up that I will forget to do. Let's just skip that, I think. Did you think you mattered, Hawk? Did you think anything you ever did mattered? You couldn't even save your city. How could you expect to strike down a god? Meryl is going to die, just like your family and everyone you ever cared about. Of course, a fear these would know where to hurt the most. We must ignore it. Those I were little fears, tiny manifestations spawned from the nightmare itself. And they take the form of spiders, something so many fear. Spiders? I see maggots crawling in filth. Remember, we walk in the Fade. Demons of fear shape their appearance to unnerve each of us. Wonderful. We'll loot what we can. Birth of fear. Oh my goodness. Uh, you're too young to worry so, my child. Write your worries down here. All your fears are smaller once you have to find them. What if Darks won't come back? Father said one day he'll die. Darks won't underground. Darks won't under our house. Darks won't come up from the basement. The sun will die. Black bits on bread could be blight. Getting sick and dying from blight. Grey Warden's coming to make father go back. Father dying, fighting Darkspawn. Dark patch on father's arm that he hides from mother. Father says he hears music. That's... So he used to be a Grey Warden, ran away. He's got a bit of blight on his arm, and then he heard the calling. How immensely cheerful. The nightmare is closer now. It knows you seek escape. With each moment, it grows stronger. We only have a short time. Ask what you must. Do I have any good ones? Oh my goodness. What you are. So can you tell me who, what you are? I told you. I am helping you. That didn't answer my question. Are you her, or some kind of fade remnant of her, or a spirit imitating her? Our world is never that simple. What if the answer is none of those things? Or all of them? I am what the Maker made me. The question is, are you what the Maker made you, Inquisitor? I'm right where I should be. I was meant to become the Inquisitor. But what is the Inquisitor? And how will it change the world? We'll find out. And that is good. That is your power. You still haven't answered my question. What are you? I am what you see. All other answers rest in you. No, I'll leave it. You should keep moving. Actually, I think I will put a cut in here, and maybe we'll ask him more questions at the beginning of the next session before advancing further through this nightmarish realm of nightmare. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for watching.